still jam with the band now and then? No time, kid. But I'll get back to it. The fucking days, those were. You know, I went to one of your gigs once. Ah, groupie. What, you have a good time? Honestly, it seemed better. Most of you remember you bombing all over the front row. Well, glory, old bandits will be back, Joe. Just got some biz to hell out first. So, Dino, what's good downtown? Shit, the place is burning up, Joe. What kind of fire? Since that soccer bitch showed up, all them suits are shitting themselves like they ate day old caliente. Biz fucking booming. Everybody's gotta have a piece of old Uncle Dino. You need Johnny Silverhand? Come on. A little young for that. Did hit one of his gigs once. Feel the fuck up. Decent gig? Yeah, I played normal. But Johnny apparently he had some soccer suit tied up backstage. Said if they didn't get at least three encores, I'd bash the poor bastard's faceplate in. Johnny had it style, kid. All right, Dino. I'm in the mood to party. Where do I go for a good time? Your Kerry Uridine setting up a real cream shindig. I'll get you in. Just give me a little time. Carrie likes me. I got a Delta. A Delta. Is everything okay between you and River? Yeah. I finally found common ground. Better late than never. Silver lining. Considering the... Circumstances. When I thought I might never see my Randy again. But all's well, it ends well. I got my Randy back. And my brother, too. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. Let's, um, change the subject. I hope it's nothing but bright days ahead for Randy. You never know with him. I swear. Not since he lost his father. That's a pretty tough glow for a kid to weather. But after what that psycho did to him, I think it could change things for the better. Doubt it. Hang in there, Joss. Baby. Oh, before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something, said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. It's nice of you to think of me, Judy. Hey, don't mention it. I just hope she's worth the eddies. As far as cases go, yeah, it was interesting. Hope the same went for your cop. What else is going on besides that? Oh, you know, same old. I'd rather hear what you've been up to. How's virtue tuning going? Scroll anything cream lately? Depends what you call cream. Does not count. Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed who using what? Uh, something like that. But you see it differently. For you, it's art. How'd you get into virtues anyway? Always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. I was wondering, why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Yeah, sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. Something else I wanted to talk about. Got 
all the time in the world. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and leave the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. A few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. I got another question on my mind. Shoot. I don't miss Night City at all. Um, it's too soon. Still remember the noise, the smell, everything. So what do you do nowadays? I'm taking things easy for now, but I'll get back to work soon. I've got an idea for an experimental virtue cycle. So, how's life away from civilization? You mean Night City? Ugh. You should see Oregon. This is how life's meant to be lived. Let's talk about something else. Go for it. I'm driving right now, so it's perfect timing. Nice night's catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. supposed to feel. I... I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have... I... It's just... When I see him that day, in that limo, all covered in blood, you know what I wanted to say to him. Te metiste en una gran problema, Jackie Wells. As if he was 14 years old again coming home from a fight with the other kids. He's like, my brain was trying to protect me from what I always was afraid would happen. It's okay, Mama Wells. I, I can't talk about this now, okay? Did you ever talk to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? I know what she looks like. That's not what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentrica. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. We're around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. And where they end up? They hide bars. Or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. I gotta go. Staying in California much longer. We need to work. Preferably the more lucrative kind. No better place than Night City in that regard. But the nature of biz here is such that sooner or later you'll step on some big wigs' pinky toes. So we'll see how it goes. You, Pan Am, and the Cowboy. Now that sounds like a story I want to hear. Wouldn't call it a story so much as just another episode of what happens to folk traveling on the road. You gonna spill it or not? Me? 
Ian and Anne were hauling cargo from San Francisco to Kansas for one of these so-called cowboys. That's what we called the owners of those huge sin meat farms. Kansas was riddled with them operations, but Pan Am never seen one. So we get there, we unload the cargo, some bowels for boilers, doesn't matter. Stench in the air is unbearable. Pan Am's face is green, she's practically gagging. And then the owner struts over to us, cowboy hat in hand, about to say howdy, when Pan Am... No. Pan Am drenches his boots with that day's lunch. I thought that was it, that we were screwed. But you know what the cowboy said? No need to bow, I'll just take a handshake. No wonder Pan Am instantly knew what you meant back at the AV. Hey, later. Heard Netwatch is on the prowl, sniffing around here lately. I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. Unfortunately, this thing I know nothing about is a problem for the VDBs. So much so, district power consumption has dropped by half. Voodoo's troubles keeping you up at night? Mr. Hands the altruist. No, disruptions to the status quo keep me up at night. My concern grows when the seeds of chaos are sown. It, it's bad for business. Tell me, Hans, how Pacifica wind up in your hand? <laughs> well, you know. Where most see a lost cause, I see potential for growth. Pacifica's a lost cause? Not anymore. People seldom realize how much actually goes on here. When can we meet? You know, face to face. Never. Perhaps tomorrow. When it proves absolutely necessary. Not before. Not looking for new tunes, are you? The... I offer you what no... Tune can. Honesty. Consistent, reliable honesty. Okay, gotta go. Likewise, time is Eddie's. Talk later. Mm. How's things, V? What's it like working for Rogue? It's fine. That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask for yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. I gotta go. What'd you know, Jackie? The guy was a good chum. Used to drop by for a round or two. But then, <laughs> tough guy exterior on the crack after the little dress. Big dreams in that. World's already poor with it. How's Mama Wells holding up? Physically, never better. On her feet from morning to midnight. <laughs> face for all to see. I gotta go. V. 
Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny, you're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where do we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. You hear about Santiago? Used to be a nomad, long time ago. Ever heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Why is folks suddenly recollecting Santiago? A friend of mine did a job with him once. That's one old friend you got. He's a legend, all right. Wouldn't say he was my role model, but well... He was the man for his time and place. You don't think he was all he was cracked up to be? They say he was a big city nomad, best of both worlds. Except there ain't no such thing. You're either loyal to your family, or you ain't. Doesn't loyalty to your friends count for something? Maybe it does, but then you end up like Santiago. He snuffed it because some lunatic wanted to blow Arasaka to smithereens. What a friend. Take care. Haywood's a rough place for biz, huh? It's gotta be tough, keeping it all in check. Not really. All you can get here is enough respect to keep the wolves from eating you alive. This is your turf. You must have something under control. Just got the most wolves afraid of me. Can I ask a personal question? Sure. But I may not answer. Why'd you join the priesthood? Faith is God's grace. For many years I did not feel it. But, eventually, that changed. I believe in God, V. And I only hope that when I pass, He believes in me. Now listen, you ever, um, check up on Mama Wells? I need someone, now that Jackie's gone. She's a strong woman. She'd do just fine without me. You know what I mean. Jackie had his secrets. Someone might want to get even. Nobody will touch her. Trust me. And besides, you should also stop by and see her. It's only right. Talk later. Vaya con Dios. Your hideout's been blown. Probably literally. Where are you now? I am done with Squats B. That is the most I can say. You'll have to be content. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. You're know about his puppets green at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, Bigger the lies. Spoke with her. Not in person, but we spoke. You know who I'm talking about. <clears throat> she contacted me too. We went, as you say, all in. And it worked. Hard for me to trust anyone who goes via proxies. She made you an offer. Seem to know everything already. I gotta keep talking? I only know what Hanako-sama saw fit to tell me. That is not much. 
So please, continue. Gotta meet in person. Soon. Very good. It'll be hard to find a better sign of our trust. Gonna be there too? Not at this time. Arasaka is still searching for me. We cannot risk it. But... It is only a matter of time, V. Anything else? How's Oda doing? Still on the mend? Arasaka provided him with the best medical care. But I cannot guarantee it will be enough. Wounded the pride heals slower than bones. Talk to you later. Be safe, V. Have a good one. See you around, B. Hello. You wanted to talk? Talk another time, Waco. As you like.